Uh, we were talking about Fez did not make it up here today, and there were so many things that Fez Watley's voice were needed for in the run of Fez show today. I don't know whether that's still important to him, but I'd love to have him back. And do you know if he, whether he's getting any help at all? He's kind of shrouded in mystery right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, Reggie was here, and D-Man, and now Steven. It's, uh, the, the, Fez, the Fez updates are few and far between. What did you think of D-Man? I like the D-Man. Mm -hmm. D-Man is a fucking aggressive dude. Sure, he was roofied at some point and fucked in the mouth, but... Inconsistency, I think, hurt the D-Man. A little bit, yeah. That, that was a little oddness. But the concept the, of the D-Man, love it. Yeah, the concept was fine. Thank you. Now... Your friend, Reggie, Reggie the florist, florist, very consistent and consistently bad, just <laughs> completely lost. It was completely lost. And that might have to been with, you know, you brought the person in. You didn't do a lot of coaching. Um, I understand that he is in the house. He's a motivational speaker. Retired. Here comes Stephen. I'm Steven. Welcome. I feel welcome. I've already been here. I feel so welcome here at Sirius <laughs> XM. Ron Bennington, you look fantastic. Well, thank you, Steven. You look great. Chris Stanley, you're looking great. Oh, thanks. I hope everyone's feeling good today. Yeah, we've just been doing a show here. Uh, well, Steve and I bet it's been the best one ever. I don't know if that's motivation. Some of this stuff just seems to be... False statements more than motivation. Complimentary. It's keeping a big positive attitude. Mm. Yeah, but you don't know whether or not uh, we've had a good show, and obviously neither one of us looks great. So this is just coming across as lies. Stephen, the retired motivational speaker. Now, even though you're retired, uh, you keep on motivating speaking? Yes, I keep I keep the motivation going. It's what I like to do. Retire. Let's break down the word. Re, as in repeating something. Tire, uh, something that goes round and round. So I'm just repeating the cycle of motivation. Oh, okay. Hey, by the way, um, a big, big uh, fan of ours, uh, baby girl Kate, is uh, two years old. She's two years old, and uh, it's her birthday. Way to go, baby Kate. Excellent. Mm. Great work. Coming Thanks, up on Steven. two years. Thanks, Steve. That Steven. is fantastic. That's great news. And I'll tell you what. Focus on the candles. Focus on them when you're blowing them out on that birthday cake. Normally when you're two, an adult helps you. Maybe at two. But eventually we're going to see three years old, four years old. She's got dreams. Yeah. And those are dreams that are going to come true. Well, yeah, you, unless you die, you stay alive. Yeah, there'll be more birthdays. I think what Ron Bennington's trying to say there is birthdays come and go, and those are the memories that you need to cherish. I wasn't going to say that at all. Just saying a kid has birthdays. Said it perfectly. Anyway. Uh, it's great to have you here, Stephen. I'm excited about this phone show. Somebody has got to grasp the opportunity. Take the brass ring and win that $5,000. I think Stephen's confused about a motivational speaker and an infomercial. What you want to do is use my method. As you're calling the phone show to try to get the $5,000, mm -hmm. you want to use my call method. What's C that? C-A-L-L. Mm-hmm. Callers always loving life. And use that method. Put so it in your minute. lives. In your acro acronym for call, call is actually the first thing. Callers. Right. That's the C in call. <laughs> callers. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Always loving life. <laughs> always look. All right. So caller is only loving life. So is that the only kind of callers we want here today on the Ron and Fez show? That's what we want. I want to hear how you're loving life. I want to hear how you're making your dream come true, whether it's to become a photojournalist, start a rock garden, something like that. Anything. I just want to hear your dreams. All positivity today. That's what I'm about. When are you fighting Piper on the 28th of uh, next month? 
If I had a dream to become a professional wrestler, I would make sure that I went out there and I took it. By the way, you know, uh, my friend Hard Rock Johnny is starting a rock garden, and he loves it. See, dreams can come true. It's possible. You just have to put your minds to it. Uh, Joel in Vegas, you're on Fez. Hey, I just need some motivation. I have a friend that was in the hospital. I didn't visit him. He's kind of upset about it. Do you have any help for that? What you want to do is start a health program so that you don't end up in the hospital yourself. The only way you can take care of sick friends is by taking care of you. Seems selfish. Uh, Bob, you're on running fast. Hey, buddy. Hey. I have a gay brother who won't come out of the closet. He's a radio show host. He keeps on locking up on air. Do you have any advice for me? What I would say is follow the gay method. Give all of yourself. Give all of yourself. G-A-Y. Would that be goof? A gay oof? There's an O thrown in there, but I think people get the message, the positive message. Hmm. Uh, here's Ken. Ken, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Steven, you got any advice for a man that wants to get roofied and fucked in the mouth? You know, a lot of these calls seem to come up no matter what character is doing the show. I think that hurts. All right, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. What does RON-ZERO-FEZ stand for? RON-ZERO-FEZ, that's releasing our negative or fearful emotions. Well, emotions? Emotions, with a Z on the end. Okay, and so the zero you even give uh, of? Well, it's a zero, looks like it could be an O. So I just kind of throw that out there. That you, when you throw in or, that means people have choices in life. That is true. John, Oklahoma, you're on Ron Fez. Hey, Ron. You know, yeah. the funniest thing about this is there's like no temp to change the voice. It's just Fez yelling. <laughs> Here's Eric. You're on the Ron Fez show. Yeah, hey, uh, Ron. I need some motivational help. I just hate myself. I bought my good friend an ashtray for Christmas. Yeah, that's that's a rough one. What happens when you let your friend down at Christmas? Well, you know, it was an ashtray. So what I would say is use the ash method. Always shop heartily. You would put your heart into your oh. shopping. Always shop heartily. Always shop heartily. Yes. You know, I've never shopped heartily before. A lot of people don't, and they don't even realize that they're not doing it. You know how I'm going to start and shop? How's that? Heartily. Heartily, yes. Put your heart into it. Mm, let's see. All your emotions, all your dreams. How did you get started in this business? Uh, well, uh, I was at one point 752 pounds. Mm, what are you down now? 740, 735? A little bit less than that. And as they were knocking down the wall to take me out of my house, I realized that I was fat. And by fat, I don't mean just heavy. Mm-hmm. I mean F-A-T, frightened and thirsty. It was a pre-diabetic condition. So I realized I was frightened and thirsty. And now you're in a post-diabetic uh, mode. Exactly. Now I've gotten my life back. Um, here's Edward. You're on the Run of Fez show. I just would like to hear from... I, I love the advice, but just maybe for another day, if you could put us in touch with a lady, a nice older lady who kind of sounds like a cross between Aunt B. Here's uh, Bill in Boston, you're running Fez. Hey, Steve, I need some advice, because I'm having trouble with a girl. What's going on? Well, every time I stalk her, she keeps calling across to me, but we're meant to be together. All right, so what you're going to have to do is uh, maybe back off just a little bit. Give her her space to find her dream. Hmm? Freak dog, you're running Fez. Hey, I want you to harness the incredible power with me, Stephen, if you wouldn't mind. Use my acronym to rape. Restrain, anger, penetrate, ejaculate. I want to take your virginity right now in your fucking man pussy. All right, see, I have a... You know, just because it could be an acronym doesn't mean it's good for you. Hex, how are you liking Stephen, the motivational guy? Stephen is fucking intense. Yeah, he is. He's coming at these callers. Why wouldn't he? Okay. He's got a bunch of acronyms. Yeah, just one after another. So what what would you like to get started on today, Stephen? I see you got list in front of you. Well, you know what? I see someone in the news who's having a rough time, and I'd like to maybe just go one on one with him for a little bit. 
for uh, just a second or two. Who's the person? George Clooney. All right. I saw George Clooney broke up with his Italian supermodel girlfriend. Didn't know. have any idea of this. Yeah, so I just, maybe if everyone else could just turn off your radios for just a second. Mm, I and, want them to do that. And let me go one-on-one -on -one with George Clooney here. Why don't they just listen in? I think what Ronnie's saying is that there's probably something everyone could hear in this that could help and maybe be of some advice to them in their own lives. I guess I'm saying something like that. So, George Clooney. Just fucking say it, please. You're driving me nuts. George, you've had what I call a breakup. That means what's happened is you and your significant other are no longer dating. So, here's Psycho Bob. Psycho Bob, how can we help you? Hey, guys, I am really down today. I need to be motivated. And I was wondering if I could get a pep talk. Sure. Sure, Psycho Bob. You know what? Just because they call you Psycho, that doesn't mean you have to be. You no, could... no, I, want, I want a pep talk. Yeah, you pep could talk. be friendly, Bob. You could be anything you want, oh, Bob. Excuse me. When we say pep talk here, uh -huh. we mean from Pepper. Oh! Yeah, Bob, it's going to work out. Thanks, Ron. Thanks, Pep. I really appreciate that. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Here's Mike in Detroit. Hey guys, hey Stephen, uh, I injured my back, I took a year off from the road, and I just hooked up my satellite radio again today, and uh, I need some motivation to keep listening to this fucking bit. Yeah, good for you. I'll tell you what, you're going to be able to get that back back in shape, is what you do. Use the method I use to get in shape, walk, and that's walking and liking carrots. Carrots with a K, but it's still carrots, it's still the vegetable. So use my walk method in order uh, to get that work. back. In order to get that back back in shape. Way to go, man. Thank you for having the courage to call. Uh, here's Harry Carey. You're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, you still have my goddamn bit, Steve. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to focus on some positive energy. No one's stealing anything from you that you're not just giving up yourself. Um, let's head on over here to Charlie. You're on Run of Fez. Uh, let's try Max in Oklahoma. Go ahead, buddy. Yeah, uh, is it Stephen with a PH or Stephen with a V? And do you live in a van down by the river? No, but I'll tell you what. If I did live in a van down by the river, I'd try to make the most of it. That's life on the open road. It's not for a lot of people. It's not for someone like a Sarah Palin who really can't handle it. you got to find out where you're comfortable in this world. Um, here is uh, Charlie, your arm on Fez. Ronnie, you turned it around. From the advice show to finally he gives advice. Congratulations, sir. The advice show. Um, here's Sam from Tulsa with a layup. You're on the Run of Fez show. Uh, Ronnie beat a million bucks. Steven, I need a little help. My boyfriend wants me to go down on him, and I'm a little apprehensive. What does man cum taste like? I'd, I'll tell you what. Use the cum method if you're really that interested in it. Can't underestimate me. Hmm. That's it? That's it. Can't underestimate me. Well, he said man come. So that's uh, many always never can underestimate me. Many can always never. You really need to buy that Buseyism book. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Uh, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Uh, Gozer, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Steve, I got a problem, man. Every time I go into the bedroom with a girl, I totally shit my pants. What, what do I do? What you want to do is probably have sex in the bathroom at that point. That's a great idea. That is actually an excellent idea. Sitting on the toilet or in the tub? Uh, I would go tub, because you never know when something like that's going to strike. Think of it as an opportunity, though, for someone to really get to know you. Are oh, you fucking a tub? Uh, John, you're on the Run of Fish show. Yeah, Stephen, sometimes when I get to my job, I'm not ready to start work. How can I get away with uh, starting half a day late and still getting a full day's pay? Just come in later. Well, you know what? This was just uh, out today. What do you think the average person works in this uh, country? How many hours a day? I would say my guess would be 10 hours a day. Hicks? Um, 12. A little over four hours. Doesn't what? Mean, that's the time that when you're at work, you're actually working a little over four hours a day. Holy shit. 
So normally what people do, I could say that that means that I work an average day. But what I'm doing right now is what people do when they're not working. <laughs> so what they will do is go over, talk to their friends, start fucking around. Go on the Facebook, tweet some stuff. Boy, work sucks. Uh, Kyle Hoboken, you're on Run Fez. So normally, Hello? Kyle, turn your radio down. It's Tom from Hoboken. What's up, buddy? I don't know what's going on in there. Who's on the phone today, Hicks? That's Pips. Pips. Tell Pips he's the one that hasn't broke through. Pips, you're not the one. You haven't broken through yet, Pips. His name's Tom, not Kyle. Pips, use my Pips method. Phones in perpetual uh, sanity. Phones in perpetual sanity. Uh, Go ahead, Kyle. It's Tom from Hoboken. Go ahead, Kyle. No, no, Tom. Tom from Hoboken. Got you, Kyle. Go ahead. No, 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 not Kyle. No, it's Tom. We, remember we used to go drinking in the city. There was some unpleasantness at one point. No idea who the fuck you are, Kyle. No, no, it's Tom. Tom from Hoboken. Um, here, I'm reading some of the tweets here. Uh, the Steve, the motivational speaker, live in a van down by the river. D-man Reggie slash Steven sucks. I disagree with that. Uh, 19 minutes in, and Fez is starting to run out of team steam. Um, blowhard, blowhard, blowhard. Wow, blowhard gets a lot of tweets. Fez will have to sleep for three days after this, Mister Obvious. These, here's Gaz. This is the big one. Gaz to me is the New York Times of criticism. That's huge. These constant acronyms. Make me yearn for constant puns. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here's Joe, you're on my fuzz. Joe, we got you? Yeah. Yeah. Steven, you're yes. awesome. Thank I love you. the the positive attitude. It's very refreshing. You, Steven, are awesome. It is something new here for our radio station on the virus. We've never had anybody as up as you. It's all good. That's what you have to remember. It's all good. What's that an acronym for? AG. So at that point, it's just, right now, it's all good. Uh, here's Tony. You're on the Run of Fez show. Ronnie, I think you really got to look at your lineup here. I think Fezzy is becoming a closer. He comes in, throws gas for an inning, and uh, then he's fucking spent. He's no longer a starting pitcher. I think he's more of a middle reliever. You know, like, he, we bring him in in the middle of the show. He has a little energy. He's going to throw us a good 16, 17 pitches and then uh, shuts it back down again. Um, let's go over here to Ian. Ian, you're on my face. Hey, Stephen, when these phone callers get you down, I want you to use my freaking awesome guy method, or fag for short. Okay, it's what you need to do is just focus on the positivity of the call. When I get a positive call, that's when I like to give out a Steven star. <laughs> Steven, can I bring up verb, verbal crutch to you? Sure. What you need to do has started every single uh, call now. Andrew, you're on running Fez. Hey, Ronnie, I've got a great show idea. We'll call it uh, the cunt show, the comic under nutty therapist, where Steve, the motivator, and little Jimmy Norton with his gym inspirations can get together and help people. Yeah, it does seem like it's lifted a little bit, but I do, I am appreciating the energy. But premise wise, have we heard it? Hicks? Yeah. But the energy is there today. Oh, it's great. The energy is fucking yeah. A plus. Um, let's go over to Steve. You're on my face. Steve. Up sky, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, Steve, from one Steve to another, let me tell you about my situation. <clears throat> what you got? I'm a closet homosexual. My dad recently died. My brother is addicted to pain medicine. Let me ask you this question. Should I start tasting cum? Now, I talked about the cum method before. Can't underestimate me. And I'll tell you what, a lot of pretty things hang into a, hang into a closet. So until you're ready to come out, enjoy, the, enjoy hanging around in there. What happened, Steve? Don't know if the motivation, if I'm getting everyone properly motivated. Well, what's going on inside? 
Uh, trying to remember to motivate myself, to keep myself on a positive note. Why, what were you feeling? Even though I haven't been able to give out any Steven stars today. Well, what, were you, what, what was that other thing about? I wasn't sure if that was the best advice possible. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure that I've got everyone amped up and properly motivated. Um, Kyle, you're on running first. Uh, hey, Steven. Uh, I'm feeling really depressed. I, uh, that I happens to people. Death. Yeah, I, I had a recent death close to me. My my lawnmower died, and uh, I'm up here on a bale of steam, about to jump. What what can you can you help me out? Well, I'll tell you what. Climb down from that bale I'll of tell steam. You what. A what? A, a what of steam? That bale of steam that he mentioned. What's a bale of steam? I don't know. It's what he was bringing up. Sounds like a really sad place, though. Maybe not. Well, you've got us all thinking today. You've got us all thinking. Uh, Mike, you're in my Yeah, uh, Stephen, I'm getting ready to fly to New York here and getting ready to get on my flight here from Sprint Airlines, but I don't have any self-service because I have Sprint Wireless. What do I do? Don't even listen to him, Stephen. Uh, Jim, you're in my Yeah, hey, guys. How's it going? Great. Hey, hey uh, Stephen, uh... Being a truck driver out here, uh, there are times when there's uh, quite, quite a few exits in between where we can find an actual place to stop, and I wanted to know if you could help me out. I, I, I need to find a place before I shit my pants. I'll tell you what. A lot of times, things, aren't, uh, things are better in nature. I'm sure you can find a great bush out there for you, Someone that has something that has your name on it. I want our guys to go back and steal all the I tell you what's that we've had here in, in this fucking one segment. What are you doing now that you are uh, retired, Stephen? Well, I still do some part-time motivational speaking. Then I don't consider that retired. I guess it's semi-retired. Okay. And just try to help people. All right, bro from Long Island said, okay, Stephen just made me crack up. Uh, Mara says, Jan Brady, I love her. Um, 36 minutes into this drivel and Fez has a flat tire. I disagree. D-Man needs to fuck positive Steve in the mouth for taking his spot. Spring roll, round eye invader. I don't know if that's true. The Jennifer Beals of Steam. If this was a carny trick to make us miss Fez, it worked. We want Fez back. Uh-oh, wheels are getting loose. Here's one that just says, Steve, the motivational speaker. Fucking rule. Matt in the Bronx. Yeah, I want to know, Steve, what was your biggest failure as a motivational speaker? I believe it was trying to get Fez Watley off of that flagpole today. <laughs> you said he was a flagpole shitter? He's up on the pole, that's for sure. All right, off we uh, run to break.